Yeah, so this, what I'm showing you right now is um, the standard of VC clinic. Um, this allows you to, um, as you can see, you can brand it with a logo. Um, this um, unique URL, you can link it to the website. So when your patients go to the website, they click on that link and they will be brought to the VR virtual clinic page. And as you can see here, aside from the walk-in option, um, they now have the, the option to book an appointment. Um, again, these features you can turn on and off depending on the requirements. Now, this setup um, is what a lot of our partners are doing because they um, their setup is they have a lot of providers who are available um, whenever a patient walks in, whoever among the providers can initiate the call. So um, I'll enter now as a patient. So you can uh, see how it looks like when uh, I enter as a patient and then uh, the provider launches um, the video call. Okay, so this is our light EMR, so patients can update their medical information. Again, these features you can turn on and off. If you have an existing um, EMR, EHR you're working with, um, then you, know, you, you won't uh, need to use this. Okay, so as you can see, um, my go-to webinar is just using my camera, so um, VC can't launch it, but basically this is how it would look like on my end as a patient. And then um, as you can see also um, here, hold on, I have so many windows open. <laughs> Okay. Right, so there you see the provider has initiated the call. As Milton mentioned as well, um, you can do screen share, so you can show that uh, real quick. Okay, so we can do screen share and annotation. Um, maybe discuss, you know, during the, the consultation. Um, the provider can show any image or any file or any, any application to uh, assist with the, the visit. All right. Then after the consultation, my provider can just end the call. Okay, and then um, we do have a standard post-visit survey where I can basically, you know, give my feedback and then if I want to receive like a summary of the visit patient instructions from my provider um, I can type in my email and I will receive um, the visit notes. Okay so that's the patient side. Um, now I want to go ahead and show you how it looks like for the providers end. Okay, so for this particular clinic, as I mentioned, um, this is the setup that uh, many of our partners use right now for their uh, COVID-19 solution. So they have um, 10 to 20 providers in one clinic, similar to this one. Um, and then um, all of them can log into one uh, waiting room dashboard. So right now I'll log in as a provider. And this is what the provider's uh, dashboard would look like. So you would see like all the patients uh, waiting um, in the waiting room. And then, so this dashboard will be seen by all the providers who log in. 
And in case, you know, one of the providers um, start the visit with the first patient in the queue, it will already be under the in progress um, um, column so that the other providers would know uh, which patient to um, reach out to next. Um, now, um, like a lot, uh, as I mentioned, uh, some of our partners who are using this solution, um, they utilize what we call uh, the CSR workflow or the customer service representative. Uh, basically, um, we also give their staff, their front desk, or maybe their nurse access to this uh, waiting room. And it just allows them to first engage with the patient, maybe do the initial um, screening, um, fill up a form. For some, they just use it for just checking the audio and the video. And then once that's done, they can return the patient in the queue and tag them as ready for the physician. So on the physician side, they will be able to see that tag and they can start the call with the, with the patient. So um, I want to show you how it looks like when I start the call with a patient. Okay, so this um, just basically allows me, this is where I can take notes. Um, again, you can opt to just use your existing HR. Um, the, the VC video is separate from any browser or web page, so they can, uh, I mean, you can actually open up your existing HR and type your notes in there directly. Um, you can also chat with a patient. And then to start the call, just click, click on the camera icon. Okay, so there you go. So now I see the patient. Kristen, by the way, whenever a patient uh, walks into the waiting room, you will receive a notification on your VC app that a patient is waiting. Uh, you get an alert sound as well as um, a notification uh, via SMS. And then I do have the option, again, if you want, uh, if you're a CSR and you want to pass the, the patient or return the patient in the waiting room, you have to be ready for the um, You can keep them in the waiting room or you can proceed to checking out, um, to check out the patient. Yeah, the concept of CSR or customer service reps and, uh, is something we strongly recommend, especially if you're in a bigger practice in this. Because that will essentially show your doctor and nurse to allow them to be more efficient. Um, Nina, I think we're wrapping up in about four minutes. In this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could quickly show the remote patient monitoring. This is what the remote patient monitoring dashboard looks like for the provider side. Um, similar to, or basically what Milton mentioned, um, the patients can have these devices at home and, you know, they can just use it as they usually do, but it is automatically, or we can configure it to link to the VC clinic dashboard, and it will allow the providers to see in real time, like the device data uploaded to your dashboard so you can um, review. It can also be arranged in different alert levels, so you would know like which patients um, need to attend to um, sooner. So this is just an example of how the dashboard would look like for you and the different um, devices um, that can be used um, right now. Yeah, and we had uh, different layout things like compact layout, different ways. So this will allow you to, in the case of maybe um, in the monitoring versus like you want to drill deep on a smaller population versus bigger. So there are different layouts that allow you to be very efficient to be able to handle these things. Yeah. 